Hi, and welcome back to the Tarot Life Coach channel with me, your host, Tanya Melendez, the Tarot Life Coach. All right, we have one more week until New Year's Day. So what have you really, really wanted for this year? What have you needed to let go? What are you really wanting for the new year? This is the time. Last week we had a a new moon on Saturday. We also had the winter solstice. So there's all this wonderful energy is here for us now. So make sure you are being open and honest with yourself, even if that means you have to go to a place of quiet and solitude for a little bit to really have clear and focused intentions for the upcoming new year. And so just want to again say this is our last video of the new year. I'm very excited about 2012. I feel it's going to be a very magical and manifesting year for everyone. So make sure you're staying positive, you're staying healthy, you're staying being and staying at your best self. And so with that said, I just want to take a breath of gratitude for this wonderful holiday season and for this upcoming new year and for all of my friends and all of my followers and my listeners. I'm just so grateful for the year I've had. I really just... I've grown a lot, I've traveled, I've done a lot of the things that I want to do, and now 2012, definitely time for my book, definitely some new and exciting things for Tarot Life Coach, and I'm really looking forward to it. So with that said, and because my goddess sisters were with me today, I decided to use my other favorite deck, the Goddess Guidance Cards, and so I'm going to pick three cards. I felt guided to pick three goddess guidance cards and that's just what I'm going to do because I really feel that this week is going to really be a pivotal point a lot of change a lot of shifting and you know change is good sometimes we mistake it and we get a little nervous but change is always good so of course we start out with the powerful Kali endings and beginnings we know what that's all about ending the old year and coming into the new and it said the old must be released so the new can enter. We all know what that's about. So please, please, whatever, any old energy with any person, any situation, let it go. Leave it in 2011 so you can be fresh and new and know that you have a new opportunity to be your best self right now. And then we have Artemis, Guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. We are all safe. We are all protected. We just have to recognize that and stop letting fear lead our lives. So with that deep breath, let fear go. I am breathing in love, gratitude, peace, and joy. I am exhaling doubt, worry, fear. It is gone. And then the last one we get is Onog. Easy does it. This is perfect for the end of the week. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So we know what that's about. So we must also know to be patient. Patience, remember, I've told you before, is preparing for the manifestation. It is not about waiting. And I know for me, I have a lot of really wonderful things coming up for the new year, starting with returning to the States. I will be back in Chicago as of the end of the week. For the new year, I will be in Chicago. So if you've been wanting to get a reading with me, now is the time. I will be in the States, and you can get a reading with me for $75 for 75 minutes. That is a dollar a minute. I will give you a spiritual practice and an affirmation for the new year. So if you are interested, please look up my website at www.tarolifecoach.com so we can get you an appointment booked. That special will only go now through... January 15th. So from now till January 15th, if you book a session with me, you will get 75 minutes for $75. And so with that, let's see what the tarot have to say. So interesting, we get the page of rods. So this is telling me for this beginning of the week, be clear. What is it that we need to say? What is it that we need to do to let go of the old of 2011? Really so we can bring in the positive, loving, healthy, whole, complete energy for 2012. And then the next one we get is Ace of Swords. You know, swords are all about air and thought, so keep your thoughts positive. If you look here, there's clouds, and parting through the clouds are the rays of light. So if you had a difficult year, or if you're having any kind of issues this week, know that the, par the clouds are parting, this light is coming too, because then 
and we've never had this, we get the Ace of Cups. So this is all about your emotion and feeling good and really being in touch with yourself because the water element with the Ace of Cups is that flow of emotion. So be love, celebrate your love, and share your love. And if there's a special someone or someone that you've been really wanting to connect with and you have not expressed yourself, be honest at this time. This is the time to be honest with yourself and time to be honest with the other person or the situation. So again, if you have anything going on, this is the week. Let old go and let's really bring in the new. We get a new opportunity every day. We open our eyes to get a new opportunity. So why not make this whole week about that opportunity? Let go of, forgive anyone who has been keeping you from moving forward or any energy that needs to be released with another person. And also even for yourself, forgive yourself if you haven't accomplished anything that you really wanted to do this year. Really give yourself the gift of forgiveness, peace, love, and be quiet this week. Really set some crystal clear intentions for the new year. And even if you can on New Year's Eve, take time to meditate, maybe even 15, 20 minutes. Send your intention into the universe before you start drinking bubbly and celebrating with your family and friends. But give yourself that gift for the new year. Give yourself the gift of welcoming in this new year with just a love and full of uh, just a full vibration. And so with that said, I just want to tell you again, it has been my honor and pleasure to do these videos every week, and I really do look forward to celebrating more and sharing more with my with the Tarot Life Coach and doing more with my business. And so until next year, peace and blessings, everyone. Remember, love, light, dream, believe, be, do, have, celebrate your life. Love you.